Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Panther Schools. My name is Amit Singh and uh, in this video we are going to talk about what are classes and objects in Salesforce. So classes and objects in Salesforce, before we go ahead and talk about what class is, what object is, let's quickly talk about what is OOPS concept because uh, classes, objects and all these everything is dependent on OOPS concept. So OOPS is again a object oriented programming language or we can say that it is a programming paradigm which uh, wraps the piece of data which we known as field and the behavior which we known as method related to a particular data. And all these going to be wrapped into a single unit called object. That is what object is in terms of object oriented programming. Or if you talk about uh, in a very simple or layman term, object is nothing, it is a real world entity. Any real world entity is an object and every object will be having a state which is again referred as fields and behavior which is going to be referred as methods. And objects are instance for any classes. So we'll be creating classes and when we will be creating the instance, those instances will be referred as objects. We'll be seeing those. And what is a class? Class is nothing, it is a blueprint which is going to define the structure of an object. Now let's quickly have a look as an example over here. So this is again, this is nothing, dog is a class, okay? This is what the name of our class is dog. These are the states, like what is the name, what is the age, gender, color, weight and breed. These are some states. Under the states, we will be having some values. Values like, uh, for example, Jack or Max. Age could be one or two years. Gender, male or female. Color, what color it is. What is weight, what breed of the dog is, right? So these are all the properties, states or fields of any class. Then these are the methods. These are the behavior, what a object can do. What are all this behavior like dog can walk, sleep, can eat or uh, it can breathe, run to a destination, right? These are all the behavior that a dog can perform. Now we can also take an example of trees, right? Trees as uh, what, can, what, what the trees is, what is the family of the tree, what is the height or what is the width. These are some properties, some states of the tree. And when we talk about behavior, it grows. Right, it grows, it uh, gives, uh, gives us the oxygen, it uh, gives us the fruits, right? These are all the behavior of the tree. So, tree is again an, an object, dog is again an object. If you talk about uh, animal is again an object, right? Order is again an object. Order is object, it having some properties like order number, who the customer has ordered, then it has some behavior like what is the state. Um, Either where is the order, like we can place the order, order will be saved, order will be delivered, it will be in transient. So these are the various behaviors and methods of any object. So in short, any real world entity is an object, it will be having states and behavior. Now again, again, here is an example you can see, we have got this uh, dog, this is just a black dog, then the name of dog is Max, age is 5, male, black, weight is 20 and breed it Doberman, right? So these are some properties that an ob in class, not class, an object can have. And then as these are the properties, these are the properties that we have. As we said, class is nothing. It is a, a blueprint that defines the structure of an object. So dog is going to be the class. Now let's quickly get back to our Salesforce org and implement this. So I have logged in into my Salesforce org. Here what we have to do is, after logging in, you can use VS Code or you can use Developer Console to develop the class. So I will be using the Developer Console. Not Developer Console actually, I will be using the VS Code for this. So we are here inside VS Code. I'm going to create a class. To create a class, we need to use Command Palette from SFDX. So how you are going to do that? Just click on uh, select this gear icon or what you can do is use control shift P or command shift P based on the windows uh, based on the operating system you are in. So use 
command shift p for mac control shift p for windows and then here search for apex class and then you can give it a name for example doc so i already have a class uh, which says that okay override what i'll do is let's quickly go ahead and create another class instead of dog we can either create cat so let's create cat if we have so we have got this class cat okay now what could be the states what could be the behavior not behavior the state basically first let's talk about states so it will be having some properties say let's say that uh, the name of cat okay and then it will be having say that age of cat and then let's say that uh, what is the color so i'm using a string over here don't uh, if you don't know what a string is again it is a simple parameter that is have age is a type of number so for number we have got integer name is something which is a string so that's why we have got uh, name as a string color is again as in a string okay then what are the various methods that we have that behavior a cat can have so let's say sleep again okay so we'll say that public void sleep okay and here what we'll do is we'll say that uh, integer hours how, how many hours a cat can sleep it just put passing one parameter if you don't want you can say okay go ahead and remove this sleep right it can meow so we can just have one more method either speak or something right so you can say that speak or we'll say that i'll i will prefer it to say meow okay then you can have something called walk right so you can say public void walk so these are the basically behaviors that we have you, you don't need to bother about what this public void or what it is right we will be walking you through each and everything in the coming sessions so for now just focus on this okay so this is nothing this is the states the properties or we can say the fields of any object this is uh, the method basically the behavior that uh, animal can do animal in the sense cat in our case right here we have got or here what we can do is i'll just quickly put a debug over here and i will say animal is sleeping or let's say that cat is sleeping and then here i'm just going to put some debug and here say speaking and here it is what okay so these are the some of the debug statement that we wanted to display as a print okay and i'll just go ahead right click and select this deploy this source to all this is the one which option i have selected and once you uh, deploy this code to your salesforce org the class will be available to your salesforce org now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and copy this class okay and here from developer console i'll go ahead click on file open resource and then i'll find cat if you don't find your class here you need to refresh this page once and then you will find your class so the same class is here right now this is a class how to create an object for a class right so to create the object what we'll do is we'll go ahead click on file not file we'll click on debug and the first option which is open execute enormous window select that and your enormous window is going to look like this or if you have anything go ahead and remove it so what we need to do is you need to create an object so how you will create an object first thing you need to take the name of your object or class so cat is the name of our class okay and i'll say the name of my cat is oscar just give it a name it could be any name okay then you have to put equal then you need to put new new is nothing it is a keyword to assign the memory into the system for a particular object or a variable and then what you need to do is again you need to use the name of your class like this os cat and then opening and closing parenthesis then semicolon so as soon as you put this line this oscar becomes your object now under oscar there are variables for example oscar dot name okay so we'll say oscar is again our name of our cat and then say oscar dot age so let's say that it is 3 years and then oscar dot color let's say that brown so these are the properties these are the fields of my cat oscar okay now if i wanted to call this method how i'll call is i'll say okay oscar dot sleep and then sleep is a method so any method is which is going to be wrapped 
between parentheses and just use semicolon and then to execute this just check this checkbox open debug log or open log and click on execute so we'll got the error variable does not exist oscar there is some error okay so there is a typo mistake for the object i'll just quickly rectify it and then after rectifying the error i'll click on execute so once i have executed this you will see this is something we are able to see over here now to see what you we need to see if we wanted to print something check this checkbox called debug only and you will see cat is sleeping now if you want to uh, get the name over here say that cat is sleeping instead of cat is sleeping we say that okay name is sleeping name plus so whatever name we will be giving it will say it is, it is sleeping for example oscar is sleeping now again go to debug open execute in arms window and then again execute so if you click on execute debug only you will see oscar is sleeping now right now we are saying name the name of our cat it could be oscar or any other that cat that you wanted to give the name this is very simple isn't it now let's talk about while creating the object we have used something like this okay now what is this this is the name of your class this is a variable it could be anything this is a keyword which is new used to assign the memory in the hip size hip memory this is this is not the name of class most of the developer gets confused over here this is not actually the name of class this is the constructor constructor is a special kind of method which has the same name as class and by default there is a constructor with no parameters with no parameters means this is we are not passing any parameters into the constructor now if you want for example let's say that we are having a constructor here so this is how your constructor is getting defined the access modifier we'll talk about the name of your class and then here you can have uh, variables let's say that we are having name and then we are having integer is and then we are having color okay now this is your constructor after saving this class again without doing any changes go to the anonymous window and try to execute this you get the error right constructor not defined the reason here we are using a constructor which doesn't have any parameter now if we define the constructor inside the class we have to use that constructor while creating the object of any class now you see here right we have got the same name the name is same age is same so how you will define what parameter is coming from a constructor what parameter is actually of class so to do that we use a keyword again which is this say this dot name equal to name so this part is going to be like the left part from equal is actually the your parameters your state or your field of a class and then right part of equal is the actual parameter of your constructor so you say that this dot is equal to is and say this dot color equal to color now we are just saving this okay we have saved this again we'll get back to debug console okay here now instead of passing these variables like this what you will say is okay we'll say okay go ahead into the constructor plus pass oscar three and then brown now this is not required not necessary okay you can just go ahead and execute again this time you didn't get any error because we are using that constructor and click on debug only you will see the same message which says that oscar is sleep now say that okay we have got three parameters but we only wanted to use the constructor some developers wanted to use the constructor which doesn't have any parameter so how that will work so for that you again have to create the constructor you can have as much as constructor you want inside your class now you have this constructor right if you want to have one more constructor you can say public cat and you can just say the string name this is the only thing you want to pass as a parameter right and that's fine this is how it works right now if you go there and say 
I'm just copying this. Okay. I'm going to create another object of, of cat. We'll say that cat obj, and then I'll say new cat. Okay, this is not for car. This is cat. Okay. Okay. So I'm saying Tommy. Or let's say that Tom. Right. And this is white. And then again, I'll say oh, we are going to call the method from our cat object over here for sleep. Okay. Now what we did is we made object in two different ways one with the parameterized constructor one with without parameter constructor go ahead and execute this and once you execute this you will need to click on this debug only checkbox and you will see oscar is sleeping tom is sleeping right so this is how you usually create your constructor depend on your use case so if you are already familiar with, about salesforce then what you do is sometimes when you need to create a account object, what you usually do is you'll say, okay, account ACC record equal to new account. And here you can say name. Sometimes you say rating or sometimes even you say, uh, you say like this, you don't pass even anything over here. And then you say, okay, now just go ahead and say ACC record dot name equal to like this, right? So again, this is nothing. This is a constructor. These are the various constructor which are defined by Salesforce and you can use the one that you want according to your need. So this is it all about this video where we talked about what class is, what is a constructor and in the next videos we are going to talk about what are the methods, how to use them and then how to call. We have already talked about how to call but we'll see the various ways to create the methods. So please do like, share, subscribe if you haven't uh, subscribed the channel. Also share with your friends and colleagues. We will see you into the next video. Thank you.